We played pretty well the first half, I thought. Uh, like I said, to get that lead, uh, kind of did some things. Got, went inside, got some fouls, and that kind of built up where they had to back off a little bit. Uh, and then you would come out there in that third quarter, and the last two times we had played them, that's when they had chipped back into the lead and maybe, maybe took the lead from us. And we thought that that was a big quarter. We got to make some, you know, sustain that. Had some good possessions to where they had to play some defense for a while, more than just four or five seconds. And uh, I thought at the end of the third quarter, whenever the lead was still nine, like it was at half, I thought we played a pretty good quarter there and we you know, sustained some of the runs that they brought out there and then threw at us. So I thought we played pretty smart, pretty poised, did, you know, didn't try to out- overdo things, you know, do things we weren't capable of. When Shirky went to the bench with the foul trouble, was there anything specifically you were looking to exploit? <laughs> well, we looked at pressing them, and we did there for one possession, which really didn't get us much of anything. And, and more than that, we just kind of thought, you know, just just go back and be solid. You know, because we'd been solid before when he was on the floor, he wasn't really hurting. Oh, yeah, that's right. And you know, just you know, we talked about that. Just you know, play good solid basketball, not not lunging for passes and taking yourself out of the play and reaching and stuff like that. So uh, we just you know kind of thought without him on the floor, and that's kind of the no brainer comment of the day. You know, that changes him when he's not in there, obviously. And uh, you know, Cole can kind of relax and run the show without having to be you know, quite as on edge. And, and uh, like I said, that just kind of you know, helped us relax a little bit and, and maybe give us a little more time to, to get some good shots and have some better possessions. I thought you guys did a good job of making all the hustle plays all night long. Lots of guys diving for balls. So, you know, you made that extra play when you needed it. Yeah, and that was kind of the difference in the first couple of games. It was 50-50 balls. We talked about that a lot. I thought we rebounded well. Uh, the first time we rebounded, played against them, they out-rebounded us by 15. The second time, they only out-rebounded us by one, but a lot of those were offensive rebounds and putbacks. And then tonight, I, I would say we probably had the upper hand in rebounds. And uh, they didn't have a whole lot of the second and third shots, I didn't think. And we'll tell you, that was a major difference. That's a lot of their offense. Those two big guys get a lot of high-percentage shots put them back, and they turn into and ones too. So, uh, yeah, you're right. I would agree with that on those hustle plays and 50-50s. I thought we really hit the deck. We got down there and, and got a lot of those. Sure, you expected them to make a run at you, and they hit back-to-back threes to cut it to ten, just under four minutes to go. Were you pretty concerned at that time? Well, you know, was, yeah, because you knew they were going to keep coming, and, and it seemed like everybody could hit threes at that point in time. Uh, but they, like I said, they hit a couple, and and you know that that was where the lead was so important. When you're up 16, you know those leads knock it down to 10. Well, if you're only up nine, that lead knocks it down to one possession game, and you know you got a whole lot more things to worry about. So. Uh, the way it was, you know, with their fouls mounting, you know, they can only come after you and foul you so many more times with their starters. So I kind of felt okay in that category as far as that went. But uh, and then we were knocking, knocking free throws down, so that was obviously a good thing for us too. Season best thirty from Cole Burmeister tonight. Have you seen that from him much this year, where he's really had that kind of killer instinct to carry the team offensively? Well, I guess I didn't realize he had that many. I mean, I know a lot of those are probably free throws, but he has some shots where he built, you know, beat the guy up top and pulled up about twelve feet and uh, knocked down a shot. So. Uh, yeah, he was pretty much the floor general out there tonight. I thought he ran the show, and everybody fed right off of him. What do you know about Sioux Central? They're pretty good, but you don't get too many cupcakes this time of year. Uh, did they get the win? Yeah, yeah by okay. 10. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty solid. They, they're uh, about three or four guys that are 6'2 all the way across. they got a really nice left-handed point guard. Uh, so we'll have to get back in some film, take a look at Adam and a little bit harder, and uh, be ready and see what Mother Nature has for us, and, and we'll see what Saturday brings. These guys have been 0 for 9 against Arweva, so the district championship is sure sweet, but just to beat Arweva, too, that's certainly a little bit of that. Like, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about how you know, they're certainly the measuring stick in the conference. I mean, Junior, they've, they've hardly been in any blemishes at all on their conference and since we got the conference started. So, uh, with that being said, you know, to get a win against them any time of the year is a big win, and just you know, this being on a big stage like this just makes it all the better. But, uh, yeah, you know, the worst part is you can't enjoy it very long. We have more work to do. So. All right, get to work. All right, thanks.